Leo, welcome to your monthly check-in, or actually monthly overview for January 2021. I am so happy and pleased to be providing more content. Yay! Thank you for your ongoing encouragement and support. It's lovely, it's wonderful, and I'm living for it. So, the monthlies. They go faster than the general love readings. The general love readings, I prefer a full storyboard, but these are going to go faster, okay? It's the monthly overview. Now, that could be career. That could be love. That could be sexuality. I don't know. It could be a combination of those things. That's why we're here. Let's take a look. What's going on for... I think about it. Again. <laughs> January 2021. After a while, the dates just kind of merge, honey. After a while, they just kind of merge, you know. <laughs> What's going on for Leo, please? Show me that Leo energy for January 2021. Leo energy, please. January 2021. Leo, Leo, Leo. January 2021. What's the current energy, please? Energy, please, for Leo. Seven of Cups, examining our options, yes? Examining those cups very carefully. So the love is here, but we're looking at it. We're taking a look at these cups, yeah? What's going on with those cups? We will find out. What is important for Leo to understand during January 2021? What is it that Leo needs to understand January 2021? What is it that Leo needs to understand, please? What's going on? What is it that Leo needs to understand? What's in Something's trying to come out. Six of Wands try to pop out there. I prefer jumpers and I shuffle out my cards. I don't pull from the top pile. It's not that I won't. It's just my preference is that the cards hit the table. Judgment. Something needs reevaluation, yeah? So, everybody has been pulling in the starting positions like the devil, the world, death, and temperance. Okay. Heavy concepts. It's not that we're just closing out a new year, we're beginning a new one. So heavy transformational energy at this time is not a surprise. What adds a layer to that is not just the new year, it's a new decade. Mm. A lot of people are trying to figure out what serves them, what does not. What to take, what to not take. What to end so that we may begin. There's something here that's rather substantial here you're trying to work out. This is what you need to understand or confront. This is what's important to you. You're not unaware of it because that's why you're thinking about it so much. And it has likely to do with love. What are the fears, please? Of course, we will clarify. Your own feeling. The fears. What do you feel exactly? Oh, honey. What are you feeling exactly? And it ain't no little one either, is it? It's the King of Cups. The most mature of the kings. Mm -hmm. Specifically, the card of Scorpio does not have to be. It could just be the general sense of your own sense of very strong feeling is what you fear the most. What that is, I don't know, but it's tied to that. I can tell you that right now. What is supporting Leo at this time? 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 January? Good. That's a good thing. What is supporting you? Your willingness to, am I, am I willing to do this thing? Whatever it is. It's rather substantial, too. It's giving you a headache, honey. Five of Swords. What is supporting you? Endings? Beginnings? Do I do this? Do I try? Is it worth my time? Is it worth my effort? So, in a good way, this, that's, that's a great card to have. What is supporting you? You're running the gauntlet on this. Whatever this is, you're giving it a serious amount of consideration. What are your obstacles? What are, <laughs> what are Leo's obstacles, please? Moving the fuck forward. Making that decision and doing so with confidence. More emotional confidence. Again, the emotional piece is of paramount here. It's rather sizable, whatever this is. Mm. Obstacles. Moving forward. Or not. The decision is here. What are you trying to figure out, Leo? Show me that future. Show me that future outcome, please. Show me that future outcome, please, for Leo. Some of that future outcome, please, for Leo. Some of that future outcome, please, for Leo. Potential. There's a lot of tentativeness here. As I said, that three of pentacles, tentative. Tentative. Tentatively trying to make this work, whatever this is. What's your underlying? That's why. That's why there's so much difficulty here. The decision. There's a decision here, my friend. You're afraid of heartbreak. That's why the King of Cups is so prominent in your fear section. There's a potential here for heartbreak or possibly renewal. We are at that time. We are at that time, Leo. Honey, whatever it is, you are in it. This is the immediate split. Three Cups. Page of Cups. Extend an offer to reconnect or not. 
bring this thing together or don't. I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess. This is kind of with you day or night, whether you like it or not. Okay, show me the Seven of Cups, the current energies. How do you feel about this thing, this certain circumstance, this situation, this person? I'm going to go and take a wild guess it's a person. Show me the Seven of Cups, please. How do you really feel about this? Is the pain still real? Is it still valid? Are you still feeling it? Are you still feeling that Three of Swords? Do you... Mostly the Three of Swords represents fear. The fear surrounding our heart space. Yeah? We're afraid of getting hurt again. Afraid of putting ourselves out there. That's why we're examining those cups so very, very carefully. January 2021 is not looking easy for you. Put yourself out there. Try to make it work or abandon it. Mm. Will it fail without trying? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your effort? I know you're putting a great deal of your emotionality into it, which is exactly what you don't want. That's exactly what you're doing. Your emotions and sense of fear are at the heart of this. You have not fully come to terms with this. Whatever it is that hurts you, you have not fully come to terms with it. That's why you're working through it. You are working through it. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. This is what's at stake. Show me judgment, please. Eight of Pentacles. That's exactly what you're trying to work through. What else, please? Decision, honey. Decision, 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 decision. And it's substantial. I see that part of you trying to act like it's not, but it is. It is. What to do, what to do, bring this thing together or not. It means a lot to you. You have taken a severe time out. You know there's a decision at stake here. The Hanged Man, Two of Wands, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Star Card, Four of Cups. You're trying to remain, remain emotionally detached from what is a major decision, and that's just not going to work, is it? That's part of that moon energy. You still haven't come to terms with it. So as you are living your life, Eight of Pentacles, there's this substantial question here about your life, in your life with what looks like a love connection and what should you do with it. That's what you're trying to work through and it's slow as hell and it's painful. You're trying not to bring your emotionality into it, but the more you try not to, the more your emotions become paramount to it. It's, um, do you still want this thing? That's what it comes down to. Or is it the stars? Is it just something you cannot reach? Is somebody reaching out to you and you don't know if you want this anymore? You're working through it. Slowly, but surely. King of Cups. Some of the fears, please. King of Cups. Why is he here? You're watching. Again, you are monitoring your emotions, honey. You are monitoring your emotions. You're trying to be so careful with them. You are in something that you are trying to be so careful with your emotions. Perhaps you're watching someone else and how they truly feel. What else, please? What else, please? Mm. See? There's a resistance here. A resistance here. You're insisting that this is correct, but... Um, there's this watch and wait see attitude that I don't know that it's serving you terribly well. You're trying not to get your emotions wrapped up in it, but at the same time, that's exactly what you're doing by trying to avoid it. <laughs> you're emotionally attached to this person, whether you like it or not, and that's why you're considering it so damn hard. There's also this, this kind of idea of like, do I still want this? I don't know if I want to reach for it anymore. So you're working through it, you're doing the due diligence, but you're not being rushed about it either because this is a judgment call, honey. This is a judgment call. Whatever it is you're in is in a judgment call, or at least it feels that way to you. So you're taking it seriously, but not fully embracing it either. Okay, there's a stagnation in this. Part of it is you're working through it process, and another part of it is you resisting your emotionality to this. It means more to you than I think you're letting yourself realize. Like, don't let my emotions come into play. Don't let my emotions come into play. That's the core issue here. How do you really feel about the situation, circumstance, or person? That's the actual solution to the problem, not rejecting it. Show me that Five of Swords, please. What is supporting you? Page of Cups. Do I try? Do I extend myself? Do I keep this going or not? You're running through it. You're trying to keep your emotions out of it, but that's not working. It's not working. The heartbreak is still attached to this, and you still have not fully come to terms with it. It's like, I don't want that to come into play in my decision-making, that's exactly what it's doing, and that's why everything is so damn slow for you right now. Painful and slow. Nine of Swords. There's that emotionality again. The Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I know there's this, there's this insistence here. I'm trying to protect myself and make the best possible decision. I'm trying to keep my emotions out of it. That's not working. It's causing you more frustration than it's worth. There's a natural feeling in you that you wish to express, but you're, you're keeping it at bay. Okay? You still have feelings for this person. 
Are you trying to talk yourself out of feelings for this person? Or are you trying to talk yourself into having feelings for this person? I can't get a direction on where your emotions are. You have feelings for this person. Let's make that clear. What you seem to have difficulty with is letting this pain attach to it go so that you can make a decision for yourself about your movement. Then your emotions come up. Leave my emotions out of it. No, that's the core to this. Your emotionality. Fully embrace them. Okay? You watching and waiting for them to give you some sort of signal about the direction of this thing is not working. They cannot determine your feelings. Only you can do that. <sighs> you still love this person. And that's what you're... So do you want this person's love or not? Do you want to receive this person's love or not? Chariot. Show me the chariot, please. Your obstacles. You want to move forward, but not at this... Not, 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 not like this. Not with this tug of war of emotionality here. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot. Let me know if you're dealing with the cancer. We got the world here. You, I know you want a conclusion here. I know you want a conclusion here. I see it. The world is a fixed sign as well, which you are part of, as well as Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. <sighs> Something must come to a conclusion. Something must come to a conclusion. You can't keep up at this pace, honey. Nobody. This is not comfortable for energy for anybody. Is there love here? Absolutely. So where there is love, there is a way. But you are struggling. Do you want this person's love anymore? Do you want to extend your love to this person anymore? There's still love there. That's the problem. You know? It's just you're not feeling it on a huge level, or at least minimum. You're not allowing yourself to. You seem to think that it's for the best, but I don't think that's working for you. Show me the Three of Pentacles, please. Show me the Three of Pentacles, please. Your future outcome. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Keep it to the tangible because you need more time. You're going to keep it in the tangible or the real world or the realistic aspect of that which you can control, your stability, your household, your function, your core job, whatever, the money aspects, whatever. It's looking like you resolve until I can move this thing forward. I don't know what direction direction to take it. I'm going to let things play out at this time because I still need to think about it. I still need to feel through it. Okay? You anticipate an answer to be made at some point. You do. But you are convinced you still need more time to work through this. Until then, you're going to work with what it is that you do know. The Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Coins. You will concern yourself with your the stability aspects of life. Not just money, but what makes you stable in the day-to-day. -day. What are your boundaries? What are your structures? This is what you know to be true. So you're going to continue to work through that. I saw it back here. But in as far as you're concerned, your emotional entanglement for this person is so severe that you cannot find a resolution for it at this time. Okay, you understand it's a judgment call. You don't want to fuck it up. <sighs> Your feelings for this person clearly aren't what they were, but that's not to say that there isn't something there. And you're trying to figure out, do I still want this feelings from this person? Do I want to continue to extend my feelings for this person? Or is there anything there left to work with? So you conclude to just work with what you do know in the meantime until you can figure it out. Okay, show me that Three of Swords is the underlying energy of the Queen of Pentacles, see? Uh, that's your person. Could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You have pain attached to this person. Uh, warm, nurturing, caring. Perhaps you don't feel that way about them anymore, or you don't see them that way anymore, and it breaks your heart. That's not to say that love isn't there, but a decision needs to be made. Okay. Um, anything else, please? Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What else, please? What else, please? Anything else, please, about that Three of Swords? It's This is your person. Okay, this is your homestead. There's Queen of Swords. So your reaction to them is neither fire nor water. You still have love for them. Okay. You do. You don't seem to know what to do with it. And uh, Queen of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. Trying to understand this again analytically. There's still pain attached to you, in other words. You're, not, you're just not in a place where you can... Or you're able to emotionally understand this person yourself. So you are approaching your Queen of Pentacles, Sex of Relevant Tarot, switch out the sexual energies as you see fit. So there is a cold detachment here to your person, the Queen of Pentacles, okay, the one for whom you associate heartbreak with. You have a cho you have chosen to approach them from the Queen of Swords. Detached, analytical, possibly cold. But it's the com it's the decision for which you are comfortable with at this time. And that's what I see. I'm seeing what accumulates to a stalemate. You still feel that you need more time to figure this out. I guess the question here, Leo, is do I still love this person? You do. It's just not where it used to be. Okay. They used to be your stars. Um, 
you know, but perhaps your vision of the stars has changed. Okay? Leo, hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Take care. Be well.